Have you ever contemplated the sheer power of tsunamis and their devastating impact? Each time a tsunami strikes it leaves in its wake a trail of destruction that is both horrifying and humbling. These monstrous waves born from the depths of the ocean have time and again shown us the raw power of nature, wiping out entire cities, altering landscapes and claiming countless lives. Historically, tsunamis have been responsible for some of the most catastrophic natural disasters in human history. The Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004, the Great East Japan Tsunami of 2011, are grim reminders of the havoc they can wreak when they hit our shores. The magnitude of these disasters underscores the importance of understanding tsunamis and their warning systems. Knowledge after all is our first line of defense against these unpredictable giants of the sea. Imagine if we could predict a tsunami before it strikes, the lives saved, the destruction averted. Tsunamis, despite their destructive power, are natural phenomena governed by the laws of science. They are born from the chaos beneath the ocean's surface, primarily from undersea earthquakes. When the tectonic plates on the ocean floor shift, they sometimes cause a sudden vertical displacement of water. This displacement forms the initial wave of a tsunami. Imagine you're in a pool and you suddenly push a large amount of water in one direction. That initial push is akin to the tectonic activity under the ocean that triggers a tsunami. The water you pushed doesn't just stop, it spreads out, creating waves that ripple across the pool. This is exactly how tsunamis work, but on a much larger scale. The energy released from an undersea earthquake is immense. It propels the tsunami across the ocean at high speeds, often reaching several hundred miles per hour. As the tsunami travels across the open ocean, its height is relatively small, often only a few feet or less, but don't let this fool you. The real danger lies in the length of the wave, which can stretch over hundreds of kilometers. As the tsunami approaches the shoreline, the shallower waters slow it down. However, the energy behind the wave is still pushing it forward, causing it to grow in height. This is why when a tsunami hits the shore, it comes as a series of enormous waves rather than one single event. The impact of a tsunami is largely dependent on its size and the geography of the land it hits. A small tsunami in a deep bay may go unnoticed, while a large tsunami hitting a shallow coastal area can be catastrophic. The energy of the tsunami is spread out across the wavefront, so the wider the bay or the shallower the water, the more destructive the tsunami can be. So, tsunamis are essentially energy traveling through water, and their impact depends largely on their size and the geography of the land they hit. Understanding tsunamis is one thing, predicting their occurrence is another. To achieve this we rely on the intricate mechanics of tsunami warning systems. These systems are composed of several key components each playing a crucial role in the early detection of tsunamis. First off, we have seismic activity detection. This is where the journey to predicting a tsunami begins. Seismometers, instruments that measure and record the size and force of earthquakes, are strategically placed around the globe. These devices detect the initial rumblings of an undersea earthquake the primary cause of tsunamis. Next, we have sea level monitoring. Once seismic activity is detected, we need to know if it has caused a disturbance in the ocean. Enter dart buoys. These floating sentinels are equipped with pressure recorders anchored to the seafloor. They measure the subtle changes in the overlying water pressure, which can indicate the passage of a tsunami. Then comes the data analysis. The information collected by the seismometers and dart buoys is sent to tsunami warning centers. Here, scientists analyze the data, determining the location, magnitude and depth of the earthquake. They also estimate the travel time and potential impact of the tsunami. These components, from seismic activity detection to data analysis, work in harmony to provide the most accurate predictions possible. It's a complex process requiring a delicate balance of technology, science and human interpretation. But what's the point of all this complexity? Well, it's all designed with one goal in mind, it's not just about predicting when a tsunami might happen, it's about providing a warning before the tsunami waves reach the shore. This gives people time to evacuate and seek higher ground, potentially saving thousands of lives. Although complex, the goal of these systems is simple, to provide a warning before the tsunami waves reach the shore. Like any technology, tsunami warning systems have evolved over time. Tracing back to the mid-20th century, these systems were primarily based on rudimentary observations and data, the initial progress relied heavily on seismic activity detection, where scientists would manually monitor earthquake activity as a potential precursor to tsunamis. However, the correlation between earthquakes and tsunamis is not always consistent. 
This led to many false alarms and missed warnings, highlighting the need for a more sophisticated system that could predict tsunamis with greater accuracy. Enter the age of technological evolution. With advances in science and technology, tsunami warning systems started to incorporate oceanographic data. In the late 20th century, scientists began using deep ocean assessment and reporting technology, also known as DART. These systems use pressure recorders anchored to the seafloor to detect changes in sea level, providing real-time data to monitoring stations. With the advent of the 21st century, the accuracy and speed of detection have seen remarkable improvements. Modern tsunami warning systems now use a combination of seismic activity data, sea level monitoring and computational modeling to predict tsunamis. This integrated approach has significantly reduced false alarms and increased the speed of detection, allowing for earlier warnings and potentially saving thousands of lives. Moreover, the advent of satellite technology has further revolutionized tsunami detection. Satellites can now track sea level changes in real time providing an additional layer of data to help predict tsunamis. And let's not forget the role of communication technology. From the telegraph to the internet, each advancement has played a crucial part in disseminating warnings quickly and effectively. Today's warning systems can send alerts via SMS, email, and even social media, ensuring that the information reaches as many people as possible in the shortest possible time. The journey of tsunami warning systems reflects our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our commitment to safeguarding human life. With each technological leap, we've become better at forecasting these devastating events. So, why do we invest so much in these warning systems? Well, it all boils down to one fundamental reason. Saving lives. In the face of a tsunami, the difference between survival and disaster can be a matter of minutes, sometimes even seconds. Tsunami warning systems serve as our front line of defense, providing critical early warnings that allow people to seek higher ground before the waves hit. Think back to the devastating Boxing Day tsunami in 2004. That day, an absence of a comprehensive warning system led to the loss of over 200,000 lives across 14 countries. It's a stark reminder of the catastrophic impact a tsunami can have when communities are caught off guard. Fast forward to 2011, when a powerful earthquake off the coast of Japan triggered a massive tsunami. This time, Japan's sophisticated early warning system kicked in, issuing alerts within three minutes of the quake. While the destruction was still immense, the early warning allowed many to evacuate, undoubtedly saving countless lives. Tsunami warning systems also play a vital role in reducing property damage. By providing an early heads up, these systems allow for the timely activation of protective measures. In coastal cities this could mean closing flood barriers or moving vessels to safer waters. For low-lying islands it might involve securing loose items to prevent them from being washed away, but it's not just about the immediate aftermath, these warnings also help communities better manage the long-term recovery process. By assessing the potential impact of a tsunami, they enable authorities to mobilize resources more effectively, speeding up the healing and rebuilding process. In essence, tsunami warning systems are our best bet against the unpredictable power of the ocean. They provide a crucial buffer, buying us time to react and prepare. They remind us that while we can't stop a tsunami, we can certainly arm ourselves with the knowledge to mitigate its impact. In the face of a tsunami, every second counts these warning systems give us those precious seconds what does the future hold for tsunami warning systems as we gaze into the crystal ball of technology we can see a future where the prediction and detection of tsunamis is far more accurate faster and more efficient than ever before the world of tomorrow is one where tsunami warning systems will harness the power of cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence machine learning and advanced satellite imagery to provide us with unprecedented levels of protection. Imagine a time when artificial intelligence algorithms sift through vast amounts of data from seismic monitors, ocean buoys and atmospheric pressure sensors in real time. They will identify the subtlest of signs that may indicate a tsunami, even before it has had a chance to form. Machine learning, on the other hand, will continuously improve these algorithms, learning from each event, each false alarm, and each success to enhance the accuracy of future predictions. In the realm of satellite technology, advancements are also promising. High-resolution imagery and advanced analytical tools will enable us to monitor the ocean's surface with unrivaled precision. This will allow us to detect the earliest signs of a tsunami, such as unusual wave patterns or sea level changes, providing us with invaluable extra time to initiate evacuation procedures and save lives. 
but the future of tsunami warning systems isn't just about technology. It's also about the tireless efforts of researchers and scientists who continue to study and understand tsunamis. Their work forms the bedrock of our warning systems, and their ongoing research and development efforts will continue to drive improvements in our ability to predict and respond to tsunamis. The future also holds the promise of increased international cooperation. By sharing data and collaborating on research, countries around the world can work together to improve global tsunami warning systems and ensure that no one is left unprepared when a tsunami strikes. As we continue to advance, our ability to predict and prepare for tsunamis will only improve. So, while the ocean's waves may hold a certain unpredictability, our future holds an ever-increasing certainty of safety and preparedness. Tsunamis may be a force of nature but human ingenuity gives us a fighting chance. As we've journeyed through this exploration of tsunamis and the mechanisms that warn us of their impending arrival, we've delved into the science behind these powerful natural occurrences and the systems designed to alert us. We've looked at how these warning systems have evolved over time, a testament to our thirst for knowledge and our relentless drive to protect ourselves and those around us. We've seen how the tsunami warning systems of the past have given way to more advanced, more accurate models, saving countless lives in the process. In the grand scheme of things, tsunamis are just one of the many forces of nature that our planet throws our way. Yet, they're unique in their ability to strike with such devastating power, wiping out entire communities in the blink of an eye. It's this sheer force that makes tsunami warning systems not just important but vital. They give us a fighting chance against a force that, without warning, could change our lives forever. But as we've discussed, the key to these systems is not just their existence, it's their constant evolution, their improvement. We've seen how the tsunami warning systems of the past have given way to more advanced, more accurate models, saving countless lives in the process. And as we look to the future, it's clear that this evolution is far from over. As technology advances, so too will our ability to predict and prepare for tsunamis. Each new development brings us one step closer to a world where the threat of a tsunami is lessened, where the power of nature is met with the power of human innovation. It's a future that's exciting, promising, and within our grasp. But none of this would be possible without the tireless work of scientists, engineers, and researchers around the world. Their dedication to understanding tsunamis and improving warning systems is what makes this future a possibility. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity when faced with the forces of nature. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, be sure to subscribe to my project paper for more. Together we can better understand our world and the forces that shape it.